you, I'm Zach from Lazy Art Reviews and today is the 20th of September which means I've just collected my iPhone 11 from the Apple Store at Orchard Road. I got the 11 and not the Pro. Okay, I got the 64 gigs model. Alright, and in green of course. And the reason I did not get the Pro is because one, it's too expensive. I'd rather save it for when I can actually recontract with my service provider where I can actually pay a lot cheaper and two, is because the 11 will be enough for my day-to-day -day use just like the 10R. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, but well, there's a full tab at the bottom. Ooh. Okay, the side. Alright. I have always loved the unboxing experience with Apple products, man. Them premium shoes. Okay, you got the phone first. Alright, look at that, man. Ooh -wee. Let's see what else we get. Right, it's your usual books. Okay, okay you get your SIM injector too. And of course, who can forget? Your Apple stickers as well. And you have your 5 watt charger. Okay. So if you buy the 11 Pro, you will get the 18 watt charger included in the box. Alright, so it's a bit of a bummer that we did not see the 18 watt charger with the iPhone 11. But price point guys, price point. This is a lot cheaper so don't complain, can't complain. And you will also get your wired lightning ear pods. And also your lightning cable. Let's come back to the phone. Wow. Honestly, it's more of a teal, turquoise, mint, whatever you want to call it, color than the actual green. And I'm actually surprised that it looked really, really good. Okay, as you guys can see, there is no protective film on the back, right? Just the front, yeah? So let's take out this ticker. Woo! The layout is actually the typical layout you get on the 10R. Like button placements, right? The speakers and the lightning port for charging, the power button, okay, and your SIM card tray. Front and back is the glossy glass. And as you guys can see, the only difference is the camera. Okay, is the camera bump, the square camera bump is more of a matte texture than the back glass itself. So it's glossy and matte. And sits on top of this, your dual cameras, the main wide 12 megapixel camera and your ultra wide 12 megapixel camera as well. Your microphone and your LD flat. Okay, it has the same sub 1080p display as the iPhone XR at 6.1 inch using the same liquid retina display which means high quality IPS display same notch, same all around bezel size you now have your 12 megapixel FaceTime camera front camera instead of the previous 7 megapixel on the XR and a faster face ID and all the good stuff but wow, this is definitely my favourite colour of all the other coloured iPhones one other thing to take note is the Apple logo is now centered, alright, with no iPhone text, just the logo. And to me, it's really minimal and nice and OCD friendly. The combination of the glass and the camera bump is just wow, guys. So this is the 64 gig model. If you want 1 to 8 gigs, it's selling at 1219, right? And the new 256 gig variant is 1389. And it's definitely cheaper than the iPhone XR when it was first launched. Okay guys, so basically that's it. I will be using this phone for a few days before making a full review. Okay, so stay tuned for my full review. I hope you like this quick unboxing and impressions video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.